Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome back to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at creating histogram chart in Microsoft Excel 2016. Waterfall charts, histogram charts, sunburst charts, various different kinds of chart type, brand new chart types that have been introduced in Excel 2016. I've got an example of a histogram chart here. What we're going to look at is recreating something like that in Excel. I've got some sample data. Various students who have taken a maths exam and I've got their scores. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to analyze that data in some way, shape or form. Histogram charts basically of course what are they? They're vertical bar charts uh, or column charts that effectively show the distribution of a set of data. Basically what a histogram chart does is it analyzes data by frequency. And that's exactly what I'd like to do with these guys and their maths exam scores. To prove how quick, how easy it is to do, I'm going to recreate a histogram chart. I'm going to delete my original and kind of start completely from scratch. I click the Insert tab. In the middle of the Insert ribbon we have the Charts group and we have, let me just hover here, this is an Insert Combo chart. This is an insert waterfall or stock chart. This is what I'm looking to do today. Insert a statistics chart. Click on the drop down, hover. That's histogram. I can already see the sample, the kind of preview that I've got there on the worksheet. Click and select it and then reposition and then resize uh, the chart itself. Let me just click away. That's really just the beginnings. Of course, what Excel has done is given you some uh, kind of defaults, as it were, as far as the uh, the colorizing is concerned, as far as the bins or buckets are concerned, for example, um, as well. What I'm going to do is, well, in my next video, my part two uh, histograms video, I'm going to look at taking that kind of basic chart and uh, modifying it to make the chart more understandable, clearer, more readable to your uh, users. Check out, there will be a link in the bottom right corner of this video, guys, to, to take you to part two. So do check it out, do have a look at it, and we'll go into histogram charts in a bit more detail. That's it from me, Mark Davis, at Optimum Technology Transfer. Take care, and bye-bye.